There was a fire alarm yesterday, which messed things up for a lot of people. Okay, somebody pulled the fire alarm, so I guess we're all congregating to this recreational center area. I specifically didn't really have any exams, but I know people who did, and it was kind of awful. So is there an actual fire? No? Okay. Other than that, I've just been working all morning to try and figure everything out. And I think we're good to go. Anyways, how did you find my video, Grace? It's not as bad as you're making it seem. I don't know, I didn't really plan this video, so it's pretty bad. It's not great either. Thanks, Grace. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> I think it's really good, dude. Here you go, here's your controller in here. It's have a, you're gonna have a fun time opening this. That's my drone controller? Yeah. What the hell, dude? Like, we're not going to a war zone, Grace. It's not being delivered to a war zone. <laughs> Mom wrapped it so much. She's like, we have to make it as small as possible. Mom, Wait, let's see. This is my face. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Shut up. Okay, goodbye. Oh, so now you're going to say goodbye. Yes. Okay, so I have a break um, from now until about 3 p.m. So my friend Grace, who is also a graduate student at UBC, is going to be showing me around. Um, I think we're actually going to a museum here that she's actually not gone to yet, but it's right at the heart of UBC. Uh, yep. Is there anything you recommend? Sure. Um, well, we have a lot of different species and specimens out available, however... Okay. Anyways, Grace is here to just show me around this museum, which is located right in the center of UBC. It's called the BD Biodiversity Museum, and there are some really cool stuff here. How long did you say you were at UBC? I've been here for almost seven years now. <laughs> and how many times have you been here? Zero. Like Absolutely okay. zero. Mm -hmm. So this look like, um, what does this like area remind me of? I don't know. These hallways looks like, look like those like archive hallways that you see in like those movies and stuff. Yeah. Like those ones where like people get murdered in between. <laughs> 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 Am I wrong? Yo, that's so true. This is where like these like uh mystery murders happen. Yeah, it's like they're like hiding behind here with like a freaking <laughs> 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 Oh my god, have you seen these? They're so cute lump suckers. What are these? They're like so tiny, they're like this small and they're like well some of them. No, lump like... suckers? I've never seen these. Are oh these are god. these still they're active down there, out down there? there. They're so cute. They're like small oh, little. Oh, that's so small. I know. They're so cute. I don't think my camera's gonna. No, it's okay. It in. At the Vancouver Aquarium, they're so gorgeous, and they're like multicolored too. Yeah, they're so gorgeous. Big jars of like exactly. whatever there is in here. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was scary. Do you have this in your lab? Nope. The, you yeah. know what? This would be a perfect place to film a horror movie. Horror? I know. I swear to God. Yeah, right like now. perfect place to film a horror. Oh, this is that scary looking at. The dead fish. Ugh. Oh my gosh! What are all these samples? This. What is this? Fish. They're just fish. Oh, it's a big one. 
That's scary. <laughs> okay, so this tour has taken kind of a turn. I'll drink. Ooh, look at that, pink. <laughs> Sounds so stupid. I don't even know if I'm pointing in the right direction. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I still have an injury from my, I can't push my knees like that. Oh. Wait, what? I hurt my leg a couple days, uh, yeah, like last week, basketball. Oh, I thought you were like lifting mean? too hard or something. I'm like, damn. I don't lift. I haven't been to the gym. So we have a gym at Exchange. Yeah. And I have literally not gone into the gym, like, ever. Yeah. And, like, prior to this, I was always like, you know what? It'd be really nice to have, like, a gym, like, right downstairs, like, in the apartment building that I live in. Yeah. And we do an exchange, and I've not gone there in the two months that I've been here. So. Is it, like, a proper gym, though, or is it just, like, a... Elliptical. Well, there's not really, there's not, yeah, there's like ellipticals and stuff. It's not really a squat rack, so it's, yeah. I guess it's not like a, like a weightlifters gym or whatever. Yeah. But they do have enough stuff for you to like, actually do some stuff in there. I like free weights and stuff, I guess. And a couple of oh, there's weights. no free weights. There no are free no free weights. Yeah, there's no free weights. But there's like a couple of like weight like apparatuses and stuff. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is like somebody need me in the thigh really hard here. Okay. Now whenever I like bed my knee, it covers. Well, no, like, as long as you like push in the Oh, there's just like some projector. On this might be a nice place just to take a photo. Yeah. You know what's crazy now? Huh? I feel like people do stuff on the weekends just to get like the perfect Instagram pic. To like show that like, oh my gosh, my life is like absolutely amazing. I think that's people yeah, who yeah. actually care. People like me who do not care. Meanwhile. Like, like people care more about like the Instagram photo now than like actually like doing fun stuff. You know? I guess it depends on the crowd. You, you like, you know? No, because like everyone I know actually is like off social media. Like we're like so anti-social media. Like I'm already like on the side where I would actually use social media. It's because we're old, Grace. So we're old. I guess. Did you use Did you, did you use TikTok when I first came out? No, I still don't use TikTok. Yeah, exactly. We're old. <laughs> like, like, oh, what is this? Grief over COVID nineteen. Whoa, they have it in the museum now. The COVID nineteen stuff. Yeah. Grief over COVID nineteen. A more personal conceptual illustrative piece than my usual style, this piece comments on the complex grief I felt at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. I think it's this digital print on paper right here that he's talking about. Huh. It was drawn on my iPad Pro oh, with the Pro Creator. Yeah, this was drawn good. on the iPad Pro. You know what, I have the exact same app and the most I've ever done is put letters on top of pictures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, clearly, there are more talented people in the world. Ooh, there's a theater here, Alan Yap Theater. Are you a believer of naming like actual places and buildings um, from like people? No. No? No. There's a, there's a guy named, um, I forgot his first name, but I know his last name is Cumming. And um, basically, he donated like $200 million to the medical faculty. So now at UFC, the faculty of medicine is called Cumming School of Medicine. That's unfortunate. Yeah. That's just very unfortunate. No joke. I'll send, I'll, I'll send, you, I'll send you a link of the uh, faculty of medicine website in Calgary. Right Isn't Cumming like a pretty like common last name though? I guess so. I mean, yeah, but like... I mean, that's only one example. There's like other crazy stuff of like Golgi's apparatus or whatever. Like, oh, yeah. because Camilo Golgi was like a super awesome guy. Does it mean we can like, do we have to name like every single thing from like, Golgi? <laughs> like Golgi's method, like so many things named. Yeah, everything Golgi. But you know what, that's my goal, being in science. I want something named after me. Like George's method or something. You know there's a B named after Beyonce's bum? Wait, is there is it? <laughs> yeah, it's called like, just call like Beyonce something, I don't know. Like Queen Bee, right? There's literally a B named after Beyonce. Go oh, look dang. it up. Oh dang. I like saw this in like a Did You Know book before. I'm like, what? You know what? I understand it, but like I feel like it makes it so much tougher if you're doing like exams and stuff or you're trying to like memorize something. Because it doesn't actually like it doesn't actually correlate with like what you're actually like learning. Like what does like Golgi's method have to do with like staying name? It has nothing to do with like it just, the name tells you nothing about Is it because that's how they found the Golgi apparatus? Oh, Golgi's method is just like a staining method that Golgi came up with. That doesn't it have anything to do with that? See, that's why it's confusing. You would think Golgi's method has something to do with Golgi's apparatus, but it actually doesn't, so. You know what? There you Science go. is just confusing in general, and like the names are just... Sometimes... Oh, by the way, this is that blue... This is that whale thing. That's huge. 
I don't think you can actually appreciate how big this is, like, through a camera. Scale is actually... Let's try this for scale. Try <laughs> this for scale? This is huge. Like, there's little George, and there's the big whale. Hi! <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for taking me around the Biodiversity Museum. I would have never known. I probably would have been here for seven years, and I probably wouldn't have never been here. Exactly. So, give me a six-year, ten-month head start.